Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has 10 scriptures. The first nine I will recite for you now and they're taken from the King James Version of the Bible and so is the last one also taken from the King James Version and it will be at the end of this prophetic word in a separate video. The first scripture is the book of Psalm, Psalm 48 verses 1 through 8 and it reads, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king, God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together, they saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Selah. The second scripture is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18, and it reads, Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. The third scripture is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 8 through 9, and it reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The fourth scripture is the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 and it reads, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The fifth scripture is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verse 36, and it reads, A voice of the cry of the shepherds and an howling of the principle of the flock shall be heard, for the Lord hath spoiled their pasture. The sixth scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 12 through 13, and it reads, how think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. The seventh scripture is the book of Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 through 21, and it reads, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. The eighth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 11 through 18, and it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword, and did live, and he had power to give life unto 
the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. The ninth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, and it reads, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Now for the message received from the Lord God on June 6th. 2024 catastrophes are on the horizon my beloved daughter i will be coming with my water the water of truth in this revival for an awakening of souls they will be notified of my imminent arrival in the air peoples everywhere peoples i hold dear will share in their experiences of what they see and have witnessed of my glory on display. My ways are higher and my thoughts are better than yours. I am opening the doors to those who believe what they see and their faith in me is somewhat lacking. The enemy is attacking not only my precious sheep, but many of the shepherds who claim to serve me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am coming to set the captives free. With me in their hearts and minds, they shall be free indeed. I will show them my ways through the 144,000 warriors of light. My true servants have been placed through the fires of affliction. They have been tested and deemed worthy in mine sight. They are not perfect, but my light will emanate from within their skin. Their bodies will be glowing from within. They will be glorified, for they are my 144,000 soldiers for Christ. They know the mission and of my sacrifice. They listen to me and take their orders seriously. They know what's at stake. I will never leave nor forsake any of my sheep who are lost and or have gone astray from the fold. Truth be told, my warriors of light have endured much for my glory. They will tell of their stories to the masses. Although they have suffered a life of strife, they would do it all over again to save someone who is in confusion, in deception, and in despair from the enemy's snares and traps they have fallen into. These mishaps I will turn them all around for you the enemy thinks he's stealing ground from me but i will turn it all around for my glory i use even what the enemy meant for evil and i turn it 180 degrees for the good please listen to me now 
My judgments will fall. It is a call to awaken those of you who are still straddling the fence. Events will take place that will bring you to your knees, even onto your faces, to return to my good graces. The race has nearly finished, so stay on course. Don't allow the enemy to steal your crown. I will find you where you are after I've come and gone with the first fruits of the harvest. I will nurture and care for my own. The ones who've grown apart from me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I leave the 99 to seek after the one who's gone astray. Pay heed to what my daughter has to say, for these words are not hers, they are mine. I will come in the nick of time to rescue my bride out of harm's way. Do not allow pride to get in the way of our connection. It will be a rejection from me, for there will be no pride permitted within the gates of heaven. Come back to me before it's too late, and the enemy will be lying in wait to try his best to seal your fate, to drag you down to the pits of hell. My earth angels will show you his experience exploits are evil and will ensure your survival in these dark days ahead. Whatever you do, do not take the chip in your right hand or forehead to buy and or sell, in all capital letters. It will change your DNA and I will be forced to send you away, for you will no longer be of the Father's seed. Also, do not allow greed to supersede your faith in me, for the love of money is evil and a tool Satan uses to trick and fool you into thinking this world is all you need. I am your father, and I shall provide for your every need. So be ready and waiting in joyous anticipation of my return. The celebration will be so grand upon your elevation onto my holy land of New Jerusalem. Understand the time is at hand now to accept me your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, into your hearts right away. My blood sacrifice is sufficient to allow your entrance into paradise. So be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, for our love shall never die. With everlasting love, Jesus, your Holy Redeemer. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16.